Hi guys. Oh, I'm really worried that my iPad is going to like fall off this chair that it's precariously balanced on. But hey, I'm not very technical. I um, hope you're all well. Um, my name's Zoe. I've been posting some backstage videos um, of the London production of Les Miserables. I play Cosette. So welcome to these videos if you haven't seen the previous ones so far. Um, yeah, I've been sort of trying to give you guys an insight of what's been going on backstage at the Queen's Theatre, which is where the production of Les Mis is at the moment. Um, and I hope you like them so far. Um, it's really hard to cram everything into 13 minutes. So I'm not going to waffle on at the moment. If you can hear that bubble sound, that's my fish tank. But I don't want to turn the filter off because they're looking pretty happy at the moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not going to waffle on. I'm going to go soon so I can cram as much footage in as I possibly can. But thank you for your support. Keep your questions coming in about what you guys want to see, whether it be the orchestra pit, whether it be the swings, whether it be, I don't know, the lighting if I can, the lighting desk, anything like that. Interviews with anybody, please let me know. It's a lot more inspiring when you guys are sort of interactive with me and tell me what you want to see. So I hope you're well. Keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking and yeah, have a lovely day and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Are you decent? Yes. Oh, I've come to visit. Hello, you are right? Hello. Hi. This dressing room is so chilled out. Look at it. It's like a It's so chilled. I need to be chilled because I'm drawing lines on my phone. Um, Hi, I'm Anthony. And Anthony, Hello. what do you do in the show? Uh, well, tonight I'm doing a bit of the bishop. Oh, exciting. Fun. Hence why he's aging himself yeah. out. Yeah. Hello, dear. Hi. Introduce yourself, please. Hi. Uh, I'm Simon, <laughs> and I play the bishop's mistress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I play Jolly, one of the boys on the barricade. Yay, and he covers the Marius as well. Sometimes, Marius, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. And hello dear. Hello Zoe. Say hello, introduce yourself please. Hello, uh, I'm Stefan, uh, <laughs> and I play Confet. Uh, and he's very dashing, look at that face. <laughs> I can't believe how calm it is in here guys. Because Johnny, Johnny Purchase is normally in here and he's not today. Really um, and I'm just about to put on my ensemble, which is this brown one here, to sort of disguise me, I guess. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have this lace around that sits around the front of your face, which the pins go into, and our microphone is just underneath here. Um, and we have a few pins put in. So, pretty much all of the principals play either a lovely lady or one of the guards. The only people that aren't. The ensemble for the beginning are Chabert and Gaujon. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So they're the only ones that aren't actually in at the end of the day and things like that. We're all sort of in disguise and, and we do act as a massive ensemble for the first section of the show. So we all have sort of different wigs before we put our character wigs on. And fact about this wig, this used to be my Cosette understudy wig that I used in 2011. <laughs> But obviously it's straight now, it's not curly, it was very curly before. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting ready, I've got my bloomers and everything on to go and take my corset and my factory costume and I'll see you all. Bye! So, we've sort of at the quarter now, this is lovely Caroline, she's our dresser. She makes the magic happen and Holly is getting into her sort of like base costume really. So this skirt you can see here is her lovely lady skirt and this corset that was just about to go on is the iconic lovely lady corsets and they are actually strung from the back so if I support try and creep round here so you can see it being strung it's quite complicated but Caroline is a pro they're not very comfy are they Holly? Um they're really tight so <laughs> I mean they're good for your posture yeah that's true they're not they're not very so as you can see, they're sort of broken down. They've got a lot of sort of black marks and things on them to make us look nice and grubby. 
and Holly is in her ensemble wig at the moment with her hat on and underneath if you just pop your skirt up Holly underneath you'll see these socks so we have like two pairs of socks on here we have a, the blue pair which is for the factory and then underneath is like a tan a different color each lovely lady has a different color so Holly's a sort of like a baby pink but um when you do the uh, actual ensemble part of the show, you wear three pairs, don't you? Yeah, a brown, pair, a brown pair underneath the pink pair. So we're pretty, pretty dressed up and it gets very hot. Yes. So on top of this, we now, so it's like working backwards in the show, we now are putting a factory costume on. So this is Holly's factory shirt. This is the farm shirt. Oh, the farm shirt. There's another shirt for the factory. Oh, yes, of course there is. It's not as simple as that. It's not as simple as that. So this is the farm shirt, which is the first scene in the show that you see is us coming on and we're picking peas. And this is the pea picking skirt. Yes. Here. That weighs... I don't know how much this skirt weighs. Oh, I don't know. They are heavy costumes, aren't probably they? Probably half a stone. Yeah, probably. I mean, we can't really move in these costumes once we've got them on. There's so many layers. And underneath here, so this skirt obviously acts as the blue factory skirt, but we fold it up and we create a pouch to almost like act like it's our pea pouch. So we put our peas in there and then we let it down for the factory. So that's how the magic happens. And here is her pea picking hat, which is going on. And that's our five minute call. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. So goodbye, Karen. Bye. guys hi hi oh. wait is this dressing room six right what one i should Good know start. i used to be in here so i should know in this very place i used to sit in this very Did place you? yeah in 2011 so i thought come and say cut. so cut. all you can see is half of sophie's apple <laughs> so apple is a peach oh is it peach is it nice it's like a butt it's a purple like it's like more like an apple it's a purple purple and an apple crunch so i thought come and say hello because i this is my only chance to get to see you it's currently the interval what day is it saturday Matinee. <laughs> it's a matinee day. It's a matinee day, yes, a matinee day. Enough said. Um, yeah. So I thought I'd come and chat to you guys about all your audition processes because we've had lots of um, tweets asking about people's auditions and um, what how they differed. Because Joe, jo, you did the 25th mm. year, didn't you? The tall version. Was that was that the first time you did Late Mits? Yeah. Ah, and was the audition process different? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. No, it was, it, I think the actual audition process is exactly the same. They, they follow the same pattern okay. as they do for town. But right. it was quite weird doing that version first yeah. and then doing this because this one's sort of better known. Yeah. So it's yeah. like them having to learn a revolve. So what was your audition like? Like what did you have to do um, first off? Uh, so I had to sing a song that I brought in myself in the style of the show. In the right? style of the show. What did you bring? Um, yeah, what did you what bring? What did I sing for? What for the tall one or this one? This. Oh, let's do your first one, tall one. Uh, I can't actually remember. It's like six years ago. <laughs> for this one, I brought in um, a song from Tell Two Cities. Mm. Um, what did everyone sing? That's a good question. What did mm. you sing for yours? I need to remember. Wait, go through. I sang. I still believe from a Saigon, but I changed a duet into a solo. Oh! A traversal. That's a good idea, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 So That's a really good idea. Ah, what did you sing? Do you remember? Someone like you from Jekyll. Oh, oh, nice. So, woman from Pirate Queen. Oh. Also controversial. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I sang for my first audition? I think I sang years ago. I sang Home from Maurice and Phantom. Do you remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a quite cassette song. Okay, so then after you go through, because obviously people don't, some people don't know how the audition process works. So, so what was your second audition like? My, well, they came into the school for us ah. first, and came to GSA and auditioned us there, and then we. Oh, Bax was just in. Uh, in we just went into our rooms. Umbrella rooms. Umbrella rooms. The umbrella rooms, and um, <laughs> they'd already sent us some material um, from the show. So I had all the Fontaine stuff. Um, and then I just sang all the Fontaine stuff, and so then yeah. left. Ah. Sometimes they give you directions. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, they redirected and stuff like that. Because they yeah, was basically, like, to, to explain a little bit, you sing your first song, and they sort of get an idea of what you'd be right for, don't mm -hmm. they, in, in the show? Yeah. 
sometimes it can sometimes it can be down to your song pick as well like what you pick mm -hmm. and you just what you or what you want, want to project so when i auditioned i wanted to project cassettes so i sang a soprano song um but yeah then they obviously they choose and then they decide to send you what material to learn and some people have sent lots like i know sam thomas one of our other things she was sent cassette and eponine to mm -hmm. learn yeah a few of my friends mm -hmm. well. yeah mm -hmm. so you can set, get sent quite a bit and then through the stages they sort of make their way and decide what they want don't they yeah but are you guys having fun like how far into you into you guys because you guys what started... month is it yeah september, september. how far in we started in three months um, three months three and months. joe is now dance captain <gasps> yeah she's like <laughs> <laughs> how are you finding it yeah it's good it's um it's testing but it's really good it's a good challenge mm. um and yeah, explain a little bit what, about what you know what you do as a dance captain because obviously it's not um, a dance show so people might not understand how it works so the dance captain basically is kind of the next down from the resident director um so you kind of have to just keep an eye on the show make sure it's running effectively um and also making sure that everything's covered so although everybody in the show has their ensemble track uh, a lot, most of the ensemble cover a principal role and if they then move up to a principal role because the principal's off or they go off sick um, sometimes we don't have enough swings to cover a full track mm. so it means we have a cut show which means things will be missing a, a person's track bits of a person's track will is be missing a band? so uh, a mist? Uh, mm. there isn't actually no. for a change no, for <laughs> um, but so I will sit down with the lists and organize who's going to cover what and make sure every single part of the show that is required is covered vocal lines props um staging um everything like that so um sometimes that can take like an hour or two but i've got really supportive guys and what's great is i, I have to ask them <laughs> to step in <laughs> just those two and <laughs> just, just <laughs> like cheerleaders in the back like woo 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 do <laughs> No, everyone's really great in the show, and because sometimes I have to go, look, could you could you be a bag lady tonight, or could you be could you sing this person's line, and um, you know, with the boys and the girls, so everyone's really really great at, at stepping in, stuck in and, don't um, and and doing it because it's it is an ensemble production, isn't it? It is indeed. It's known as an ensemble production because only one person in the show is not in the ensemble. It's true that. True that. Can you guess who it is? Yeah. <laughs> Brownie point. So she's like, me, me, miss. I know. <laughs> Um, so, and obviously everyone here, oh, your act two aww, we could have sat down and had a cup of tea and had a chat for a long time. Well, I'm going to catch up with you girls again during the week, but I just want to introduce So introduce it yourself, because these guys might not know. So go. I'm Josie. Woo! At Amy. Woo! I'm Sophie. Woo! We know who this lovely lady is. <laughs> so we'll see you all later. Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>